The RV Show USA is brought to you by Rockwood, building better RVs, making smarter RVers. The RV Show USA. And now, live from the RV Show USA studios in San Antonio, Texas, it's your RV and wingman, Alan Warren. You know, there's no doubt that many RV manufacturers have cut corners with quality to make the least expensive RV possible for the consumer, but the least expensive of anything is rarely the best. The folks who decided to participate with our Consumer Education Initiative are unapologetically and, and undoubtedly considered one of the finest RV manufacturers in the country. But how do they do that? Seriously, how do they seem to keep their quality something that many others will likely never realize? Well, that's the topic of today's conversation with Brett Dobrins, Territory Manager with the Rockwood Flagstaff Division of Forest River. I want you to give me a little bit of a history background, if you would, on Flagstaff Rockwood, because I know that the company is owned by Forest River now, but weren't Flagstaff Rockwood those companies around before Forest River ever even existed? Give me give me some background on it, if you would. Yeah, um, well, the... Uh the original company was Rockwood, and we were established back in the early 1970s. Um, wow. Began manufacturing uh, pop-up tent campers and uh, then graduated into uh, to travel trailers. Um, we uh, uh, were um, part of – we were an independent company and then eventually had, had been uh, purchased by the uh, Cobra uh, company and uh, – at that time, um, that's when the Flagstaff product was introduced um, hmm. into the lineup. And in order to, people commonly ask, why do we have two different brand names? And it's because we were two separate entities with two separate sales forces at one point in time. Um, so we uh, wanted to respect the dealer network that had put the uh, uh, efforts into promoting the Flagstaff brand hmm. and to keep the Rockwood dealers as well, so we uh, decided to, uh, to to merge the company for production reasons, but we kept the sales force uh, and the dealer networks separate. Um, the uh, advantages of merging is to have better purchasing volume, to have better purchasing uh, efficiencies, I mean production efficiencies, but um, you can't do that if you try to build two different types of products. So we we have merged the products to have similar floor plan standards and options, but we do have some uh, distinct uh, graphic design differences and interior decor differences. I got to tell you, since ability. since we started doing these uh, conversations, you know, with with Flagstaff Rockwood. Um, everywhere I go, people are asking about, you know, about the product, and I am not trying to be a spokesperson for you guys, but people love, they love their Flagstaff or their Rockwood. They love it, and I wonder what do, what do y'all do that other manufacturers, not all of them, but too many, don't do? What is it? What's the secret that you guys have? Because I have yet to find somebody that says, that's a piece of junk. They all love it. Yeah, I, uh, you know, everybody seeks to build the best quality they, they can. And, uh, but here we, we look at this as not just a, a, a product um, issue, but we look at um, our customers expect uh, quality. It encompasses maintaining a, uh, a workmanship and uh, level of, of of dedication and quality. It also requires uh, monitoring the uh, performance of the products that we're purchasing to put into the trailers. And then it also entails having a customer service and parts department that is uh, prepared to uh, take care of our customers and really utilize uh, our uh, availability to keep our customers happy. Brett, Brett, let me let me jump in, and I, I want to push back just a little bit because I I think uh -huh. I, I think that every manufacturer would say, I just got to say this, pretty much what you just said. Yeah, we do this and care about quality, 
but they don't all care about the quality like like your company does. Um, when I went on the tour of the plant, I was I was impressed at how many years that your employees have been there. I mean, your your management team has been there a long time, and that's got to play an important part, I would think, in the finished product overall. Yeah, well, I think you know, as a as a territory manager, I um, will share this with our customers um, almost uh, you know many times during the day at a show. Um, we have been uh, producing uh, our products in Millersburg, Indiana, in our facilities for over 40 years. And um, through that, um, we have uh, a consistency because our workforce is pretty much non-transient, and we are in our third generation of the same families providing workers, and these people come with an uncompromising work ethic. Um, we have a management team that has been uh, consistent um, since the, the late 1970s, which means that we have uh, continued to um, stay with the founding company's uh, commitment to providing the best value possible for our customers. And we are continually looking forward um, and we are uh, also trying to always give, um, you know, we, we want to use our experience to, to make sure we're not falling back and repeating errors of the past. Um, we uh, have um, also uh, been focused on building one thing. Uh, we build a trailer one way, and when you do that, it is easy to be able to tweak and improve year after year without... Uh, walking into uncharted territory. You know, with uh, the consistency of the management team that you've got through the, not the years, but the decades, I would think that that would give you a distinct advantage over companies that, that move people around. Now you're going to be the head of this division. Now you're going to be over over here because each time a management uh, change occurs, that new person wants to put their little touch on it. And that's where things, why, you know, why break something if it's not broken? You guys have, have uh, figured out what works for you. You make quality. You got people that are happy. And the other thing is that I found is that that Millersburg, Indiana, is not it's not just a hop, skip, and a jump from South Bend. It's a it's a good hour away. And you guys really are in farming country. So I would think that your workforce is a little bit different from the people that work at the plants that come from the big city over in South Bend. Mm-hmm. Yeah, well, and that, that's why we say um, we have a, a kind of a non-transient uh, workforce because we are in a community that's predominantly Amish, and uh, those uh, employees are um, they they live on the family land, get a house and a barn, uh, you know, when they get uh, married, and uh, so from generation to generation, they're still here in our community, and and. Their sense of community is inside of our uh, facilities. That's what you felt when you went walking through here. Um, you know, uh, you can say anything you you know a lot about their craftsmanship, but but really we're an assembly line, and and the important thing that we have is that sense of community. Everybody's seen a barn raising on a movie where they come together as a community and raise a barn. Um, to uh, in a day, and uh, that's kind of the feel of what we have here. Everybody shows up in the morning, and they're there to, to build the number of units that we've got slated to build, and they they work together to do that, and they do it uh, um, to be the uh, uh, a consistent product that we rely on because, hey, they want to continue to be sending their future generations to us, so uh, we, we feel that... Uh, the relationships between uh, our management team and, and our workforce is, is we're all focused on the same thing. Now, I am not a spokesperson for Rockwood or Flagstaff, but I will tell you that when you look at an RV to buy, you'd best look at the company and the management team at that company and how long that management team has been around and factor that into your decision making. Thanks to Rockwood and Flagstaff for their participation in our education initiative If you've got a question you'd like for me to ask the manufacturer, just email it to me. 
Send it to info at thervshowusa.com or leave it on our 24-hour voicemail at 1-330-WINGMAN. That's 1-330-WINGMAN.